Hi, and welcome back to a Magical Voxel Part 2 of the Magical Voxels Beginner Series. In this video, I'll show you how to get more familiar with building your objects, as well as choosing multiple colors from the palette, and messing with some of the material shaders. By the end of this video, you should be able to create this Rubik's Cube sci-fi looking thing you see here. So let's go ahead and get started. With Magical Voxel open, we can go ahead and delete the cube, click on Attach, and start creating squares in our object. To duplicate this, we're going to hit Control A on the keyboard, then Control C and Control V, and left click, drag out. And we're going to repeat this process, and we're going to do it again until we have five by five square. Once that is complete, we're going to go ahead and go up here to where it says 40, 40, 40. This is your um, working window for this object. And we're just going to go ahead and select this, which fits the model size. You can see now this has changed. We're going to press tab on our keyboard to go to the world view. And using zero, plus, and minus on the keyboard, we can actually orient the object to fit on um, the plane press g to bring it to the ground level and hold shift on the keyboard and while holding shift let's click one of the arrows almost like the red one drag it out you can see you duplicated that object pressing plus and minus rotates it on the z axis and we're going to go ahead and create the walls for the rubik's cube you can see I am in perspective mode, and right now it is kind of hard to see exactly how to orient this. So I press orthogonal and press on the center of this um, cube right here. It puts it so I'm looking straight down like I am to be on a piece of paper. So I'm going to select this and this and to drag it out diagonally, hold shift and I'm going to left click this right here. You can see it's dragging both those objects diagonally and I've also duplicated it because I hold shift and just create the box. I'm going to give um, the cube a top and a bottom so I'm just going to select one of the sides, hold shift, left click drag up and now we have the top and the bottom i can either bring it all the way down like that or just press g on the keyboard and that brings it directly down now i can go ahead and create the like diamond shape i'm going to go to create a new object and drag it out and you can see i can't directly edit this because i am in world editor view to go switch back to object editor you can select this downwards triangle here or press tab on the keyboard we're going to make this a lot smaller because it's going to fit inside the cube so over in the edit section we are going to sorry not the edit section we're going to first make this smaller probably make it 12. now going over to edit and going all the way down here the shape select the cone and press tab on the keyboard. I'm going to make this easier by holding down shift on the keyboard, left click, drag down, and orient it like that. Select both the objects, press U on the keyboard, and that combines the object into one object. And then press tab to go back to the voxel editor. Go to scale. And right here, you can enter in a value. We're going to type in Z 1.2. And that increases the height because it's Z by 1.2. You can see like that. Now, I can go ahead and give this a color just arbitrarily. And to give the whole object a color, we're going to go select the region, replace, and just left click once on the color you want to change 
um, and we can just drag this into the cube. There we go, we have that like so. Clicking render on the keyboard, or sorry, clicking render up here. You can see it's not really doing much. That's because we haven't given the cubes a glass shader, nor have we given the diamond an emission shader. So let's do the emission shader first to actually select the diamond. You can either look in here and select that or holding out shift on the keyboard, select all of these cubes and put it on a new layer. Putting objects on layers helps with organization. And as you'll see here, will help you select uh, objects that are concealed in other objects. So having all the sides of the cube selected, we can go ahead and put it on layer one. We're going to go over here to the brush and under layer, select this, uh, get this arrow to here, just by clicking this, you can see that's all been put on that layer. We can hide it by pressing this circle here. And now we can directly edit this without having to worry about the cube. And it's not deleted, it's just hidden. So we press tab to go to this and go to render. We're gonna hold down Alt on our keyboard and left click the mouse. And that selects the palette color, as you can see. Go over to the matter section, go to click emit. Bring the emission up to the, around the middle, as well as the power to the middle. Go over to the camera setting, turn on bloom, and then play with the settings to your liking. Now, going back to the model and going to world editor view, bring back the cube and go to render. Now, this is starting to look a lot better. We can give go ahead and give this cube the glass texture. Hold Alt on the keyboard and left click the color of the cube. You can see it selected that palette color, just like the emission. We're going to go ahead and go to matter, click on glass and change the transparency, make that up. And to give it that line borderland shape, turn on edge right here. And if you still see that something's off about the glass, it could be that in your light settings, over in um, these three bars sample, you need to turn on MIS GTX and TR Shadow. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mess with these glass settings to my liking. All right, with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and change this floor to be a brighter color. So going over to the gear icon, we can select this, the ground color, and maybe make it a dark blue. And we're gonna give it a reflective shader to reflect the cube. So just like selecting the cube and that diamond, we can also change the matter of the ground. If you hold Alt and left click anywhere on the ground and go to metal and change it to a more metallic color. You can see that's giving it a metallic shader. And then now we're gonna give it maybe a higher exposure and vignette setting. So we can focus just on the cube and change the exposure to make it slightly brighter. To give it a tilt shift effect, just left click the center where you want the tilt shift effect to occur. Now you can see that the tilt shift effect has been applied. As you can see, the depth of field has been given a value. To save your camera position, you press seven on the keyboard. And to keep depth of field on, you wanna click this button here. So now if I was to move the camera around and click render. Depth of field remains locked at that position. And if I wanted to go back to that camera position that I saved earlier, I press eight on the keyboard. Let's say I wanted to change some of the colors on the cube. I can just arbitrarily select some colors. So for instance, select this green here and select the floor face mode and paint voxels and just start left clicking away and go ahead and select another color 
and paint random shapes here and there. I'm going to do this for all the sides. And remembering holding down alt and left clicking the color selects that palette color. So I'll have to find it here. So I'm working on this and I don't directly have access to the other um, voxels, but I can, I can still grab their palette. So if I hover over this and I hold alt and left click and see it grabs the palette color and I can put it in our working voxel object. Okay, so we want to give these colors that glass texture that we have with the, the other uh, blue. So just like we did before, left click, hold alt, and go over to matter, and change it to glass, and do the same for the other blue. And that's pretty much it. You've successfully created this Rubik's Cube sci fi looking object and magic of voxel hopefully this video has made you more familiar with some of the controls and um, introduced you to how shaders work in magic of voxel thanks for watching 